Welcome to Gotta Run With Will. My name is Wendy Paff and I'm your host for today. I'm the Director of Development for Queen Centers for Progress and I'm also the founder of the Queen's Chapter of Achilles International. For those of you who aren't familiar with Achilles, it's an organization that provides the opportunity for anyone with any type of disability or challenge to participate in mainstream sports like marathons and triathlons. Able bodied guides partner with the athletes to cross the finish lines all over the world in the 65 chapters that Achilles has throughout the world and the United States. In 2016, the Queen's chapter was started to entice those in the borough who are interested in having that experience to come join us every Sunday in Flushing Meadows Corona Park, where we've been meeting ever since. It's through the start of Achilles Queens that I met today's special guest. He's a familiar face and a strong presence in the New York City running community. In 1999, while on his way to work, our guest was attacked by four men who beat him so badly he required a metal plate in his face to support a severely damaged eye socket. Several years and many headaches, seizures, and other debilitating medical issues later, he was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury, and his road to recovery began. But despite medication and other efforts to get his life back on track, it wasn't until 2012 when a recommendation to join Achilles International was suggested that our guest's life started to turn around. He's a member of all three local Achilles chapters, New York City, Brooklyn, and Queens. And we have with us today, the one, the only, John Pierre, AKA JP, as his friends call him, but most lovingly known as the ultimate running machine. Welcome JP, I'm so honored to be here to interview today on Gotta Run With Will. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad to be on the ultimate show. <laughs> it is the ultimate show. That's great. We're so happy to have you here. We missed you yesterday at a Queens workout, though. Um, I understand you were running a race in Central Park. How did your race go? Went great. It was a hot, but it was seven mile race. Okay, so that's like nothing for you because you eat my you eat miles for breakfast, right? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So, JP, tell us a little bit about your childhood and where life started for you. I'm born I'm in a hospital in Queens called um, Boulevard Hospital, which is no longer there. That I'm, but I'm grew up um, most of my life I'm um, in Waynesburg, Brooklyn. Okay. That about um two um about almost two years ago I moved to Queens with my mom, um who um been with me um um to um to everything I've been through um to my injuries and all um until she passed away last October. What was your life like before this this horrible attack happened? When I got the, the attack um. I'm um, blackout and seizures, um, and being depressed, on to, um, on to the when they found with um TBI traumatic brain injury, um, which I didn't um know about until they did more search on it. Then I had a um therapy. And we did a walking group. And they um and said, okay, let's see how um how you feel about it. I said, I don't know. Let me try it, and I tried it. And I loved it. Um, so then they got me with Achilles, and so end of January um 2012, I came to the first workout I'm on a cold Tuesday night in <laughs> Killers, Manhattan. Oh, that's awesome. So when, when this happened, so you, do you have any memory of what happened? I was on my way to work after I gave them, um, um, they asked for money, so I, I gave them the money and they still attacked me and all that. Right. Um, so. um, oh no, I went down, um, blood dripped my um, eye, then I just um, um, got up, um, um, they all t took off and all that. And it was across the street from my house where I lived, um, I rang my bell and my brother came out and all that, and, you know, you know, they get me help and all. Right, so you were, you were lucky you were close to home. Yes, so. but the hospital I was at, well, the hospital, they did a surgery and all, but they didn't find out what was actually bothering me and all that. And a couple of years later, I think it was 2007, 2008, when, um, when I was getting headaches and seizures, blackout, and they, um, found, um, they found out to um, how to, um, to clinical ICD, International Center for the Disabled, and they found out it was um, traumatic brain injury. And then all the tests and all that. Did you go back to work after this happened? Um, I worked in the McDonald's um, for 14 years. Um, then I also did a, um, then I became a school, um, um, senior school lunch helper um, from two, 2000, um, 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 I think 2005, um, until I got seizure blackout, then I couldn't work after that. All right. So it wasn't right away that you had seizures and blackouts. No. It was just, it was like a delayed reaction yeah, almost. Delayed. 
Wow, wow, so it was a while. So you were able to work for a little bit, but yes. then yeah. it became harder. Yeah. Yes, it became harder. Right, right. And and how did you feel about what happened? I mean, I was getting the depressed and all that, and um, cause like, I, it seemed like I was useless and all that. Yeah, and they never, we, we talked earlier about whether they actually had um, caught. That I have no idea because they didn't, I mm. um, um, did a proper report with the police and all that. Mm. Right. Eventually you were able to move on and how? When I came to Killage, when I um, get my life together, that's when I had my most of my friends and all, to when it all started and the Killage became like the family to me. <laughs> Absolutely, Killage is like one big family, yes. right? So it's 2012, you're you're with a group, they're, you're walking. And so who was it who recommended that you join Achilles? Um, I had, um, from ICD, um, they had a walking group. Um, so I, um, I joined that um, and then they said, um, how you felt running? So um, we did running um, lamp pole to lamp pole. Um, then they said, oh, you're fast. And they said, um, so I started loving running from there. So they, they, um, I think they Googled it and they found me Achilles and they got me with Achilles. Ah, so when you so when you were with the walking group, yes. you started running. Yes. And lamppost to lamppost is good. Where yeah. where was this group training? Like um, where were you from, meeting? From ICD over there, in the oh. first area. Oh, okay. So where would you go out for walks? Um, we would just go out um, there and we, um, to the FDR drive. That's when not that right. far from there. I like that running from lamppost to lamppost. Yes. That like yeah, breaks it the up. the sidewalks right. and stuff. Yeah, I hear you. So you joined Achilles and you started running. And what? So what? What was the process like? You know, when you joined. Um, I had my first race was at April 2012, um, at the Riverside Park called um, Columbia University on um, 5K. And it, um, one um, um, somebody cheering, they said, "Your, um, your machine." I said, "What was that?" They said, "Your run machine." So then um, it sinked in. Um, then um, then um, I was running, run, running, running. Um, 2012, but they have um, being a New York City Maryland, but that was canceled because of Hurricane Sandy. Right, um, right. So, but I still did it in Central Park, so they didn't stop me. In 2013, um, I trained for the um, Marathon also. Um, I got an in injury from um, my neck down to my spine, so oh um, then the cape came in um, FedEx when I um, when returned after that injury. Um, 2014 for the New York City half, put my cape on, um, and then when everybody was going crazy because I became, <laughs> I became the old runner machine, I put the old one in front of it. So that was it? Yeah, um, yeah from then, two, um, from... then made, made it um, turn in, and the priest came out, I thought I called it a blessing, so that, that hit it off. <laughs> so you had the priest blessing that you were, you know, yeah. so, um, officially... So that, um, and I would say, where's the cape? I said, I'm a made I'm official for race day, so everybody looks for the cape. Right, right. Well, everyone knows I've run with you, and I, and it's just like such a pleasure because I love the attention that you get. The announcer in New York, what about it? they said, um, now it ain't just an old one machine anymore, it's our old one machine now. So that felt <laughs> great at the finish line. That's wonderful. Let's just go back a little bit. Like, yes. you know, when, when something like that happens, though, like, you know, that, that creates a situation that's so life transforming. Yes. You know, like, were you living alone before that happened? Uh, like, what? Well, I was, I was living with my, with my mom. Okay. Before the um, 99 injury, my grandmother passed, passed away in April of 1999. Mm -hmm. And it was September 30th, 1999, when, I, um, when they jumped me. Wow. Did you find, like, right afterwards, was there any, you know, you, you like, it didn't affect your ability to obviously speak, or was there... Well, um, I'm, I was, like, very shy. Right, you know, I'm trying right. I came with Achilles, of course. Uh -huh. so open, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not shy anymore. No. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, all right, and it didn't affect your walking, like, because sometimes when there's, a, you know, some sort of traumatic brain injury, it affects your speech, it affects your walking, well, so... Well, I'm walking, I'm slow, but now I'm walking a little bit faster. Right, it took you time to kind yes. of recover a little bit. So you became the superhero. Yes. Just, you know, from that one race when somebody dubbed you yes. the running machine. Absolutely. So it was a stranger, not yeah, someone yeah, you knew. Like, okay, but it stuck. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So who's been your inspiration and driving force behind your running and all these races? It's always been my mom, because um, 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 she's going to be uh, running the She's actually put me, pushed me out of the door and say, go run, achieve your goals. Right. That's good. Yes. So she was always supportive of yes. you, though, before that, before the accident. Before, before... accident, everything. She's been right, right. Al always one there. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've met your mom. I know how much yeah. she... Yeah. Love to see you achieve things. Yeah. Um, is there anyone else that's inspired you? My mom is the biggest um, inspiration, um, to, um, and also everybody with Achilles, also right. and all the all the guys are the wonderful out that I've been with. Yeah, you've worked with a lot of guys. Yes. I know that when um, in 2012, when you started with Achilles, was there a guide you were working with? Um, 
um, 2013, before my um, before I had that um, injured neck down spine from the hip wire with training, um, Evica, Evica Sanborn. Right, um, right. So um, um, so um, um, then she returned to um to run with me in 2000, um, 2014, um, to, um, to return for the marathon, my first official marathon. Um, right. So um, to have me cross it and to put the medal on my, on my neck for my first official marathon to. Um, put the man on my neck. I felt good. Okay. Did she train with you? Did she guide yeah, you she for twenty fourteen? Yeah, um, because we put the marathon on twenty thirteen, so we couldn't uh -huh. do it for that injury I had mm -hmm. neck down my spine to my hip on the right side. So until she returned in twenty fourteen to do it with me. Okay. So, so we um we finished what we we started in twenty thirteen. Okay. Then um um then two thousand um, fifteen I actually won the team challenge to go to Disney for two thousand sixteen. Um and be, um and I'm um, I was leaving on the on the um. On Thursday to go to um, Disney, and I got a phone call from Achilles, um, from Fiona on, on that Tuesday, um, and she told me that um, ever go on that weekend, um, that she um passed away, that she took her life out, um, life away from this depression. Wow. And, that, that, and to me, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do Disney, um, in on the sport of her. So. Right, right. And because the year before she um she did um Disney with Sarah. Right. So I'm like, so I'm like, so I'm well, trying to figure out how to do it, and, and and I still pull pull off into the base. Yeah. On. Right. That was very sad. That was very. Yeah, that was, that was a big loss. Um, especially um, big loss, and especially I'm um, going into um going into um Disney, and you're thinking about that. And yeah. Race, because I'm the only one um, um killed that news about it um, um before they announced it. Right. Uh, workouts. They had to tell you, and she yeah. helped you fundraise. She helped yes. you train. Yeah. She yeah. was really really instrumental yeah. that yes. year in your running. Yes. That's very sad. I'm sorry for her loss and. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, that wasn't the only loss that you sustained in all these years of running. Yeah. Um, last summer, yeah. you know, last year, your mom. Yeah, last October. Yeah. Um, I know your mom was a great inspiration. Yes. And uh, we shared, unfortunately, we shared um, similar sadness last summer. Yes. We both lost our moms within just a you know, couple yeah. months of each other. And, um, and me and my mom, um, we, you say the same birthday, September 8th, uh, same birthday, and a month later she passed. Yeah, I know, that was hard. You took amazingly good care of your mom, too. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you went through and, like, you know, leading up and training and, you know, even though, you know, things were, were deteriorating, you still kept up with things. Um, I always keep the heart um, um, on me that my mom and, and um. I mean, my mom and me when I'm little, so I keep that on me when I'm. I running. know. I love that pin. I love that you wear that. Yes. And you also have something else that you that someone gave to oh, you yeah, after yeah, your um, mom passed. Mom's shoulder lift and made this um, medal for me, the open mom. Yeah. Because I said, I mean, there's an old mom medal. Mom deserves it, so he made it for me. So I, I'm, I do that my big race. I, I, I have the guys put it on my neck. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I know, like after you ran races, where did your medals go? Metal, I put them all on on the wall, and uh, you shared them with your mom first. Shared them with mom too. Yeah. I mean, I would go to a grave and share them too. Aw, that's sweet. Because she knows I'm still running. Yeah. In honor. I know. It's nice. I, you know, we both run in my yes. mom's honor. Yes. Yeah. It helps us, and it helps yes. us kind of, you know. I um, mean, uh, I mean, my my goal is I'm not not to do any PRs, just to get to the finish line and honor my mom, and you know, the biggest thing. Well, I, I'll mention that, um, you know, after your mom passed last October, it was before the New York City Marathon, and you also had a much larger goal last year. What did you do after the marathon? Two weeks later, um, I actually um, pulled off a 60K. A 60K, 37.2 yeah. miles. Wow. I mean, I had everybody jumping in. Um, every time I turn around, um, I look around, I, my group getting bigger, so I have more people in front of me. <laughs> There's no shortage of uh, uh, guides and for I, you. I had a, um, a big um, cheering squad. Every yeah. time the cheering squad even got bigger, bigger. Um, m m my guys, Darby from Team for Kids, she had a big JP balloons going up there by Cat Hill. <laughs> That's great. Well, you certainly deserve the love and support, John, because yes. you're just, uh, you know, you're just so kind and yes. wonderful and to even, your teammates. Even Michael Anderson um, ran 6K part of the, um, the race for me. That's awesome. That's awesome. And Michael Anderson is the director of the new um, the Manhattan um, Achilles chapter. Yep. Well, you did, and you, you did a great job that day. Yes. What What's some of your most memorable races? I'm sure that's one of them, but what are some of your most memorable races since you joined Achilles? Well, I'm um, um, doing about um, maybe like I um, um, did um, 2014, um, um, New York City Marathon, the, the 2015, 16, 17, I'm doing a new, um, 
um, um, city marathon again this year. Um, then I did a Brooklyn um, marathon. Um, I did the um, Queens marathon. Um, and the um, the um, the Philly. Um, I'm back back and doing this year for the belt challenge. I'm gonna do. Um, awesome. And I did um Connecticut two years in a row. Yep, our favorite race, um, right? <laughs> and um, biggest achievement also as I come up from the um. 2013 injury, um, got the Alberta Real Achievement Award, big class award. Mm -hmm. um, and because I did the 6K in honor of my mom and all that, what I went through, I got the um, Achilles Athlete of the Year Award, the male. You did, you did. What do you love most about Achilles? Um, being a family, because when my mom passed away, and most of you have been in um, the day all the way through she passed, and being there for me. Yeah, we all, you know, we love yeah, you, um, so we, were all, that, we um, want to be there and, for you. Um, the fundraiser that we all did um, helped. Yeah, I know it was a very trying time. Yes. It was a difficult time. Um, you, you know, you, a lot of the family feeling we get. I mean, it's absolutely Achilles. I mean, if, is I a could, family. if I could do more, I would do it. I think you do a lot. You do a lot out there. You're like, you know, because to me, it's just family. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's a big, it's a big, big family. I mean, the running community in general. How no, do you no, feel? On that, is it? Um, because then I'm one person out there that don't know me out there. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And you don't you don't just stop at Achilles. You do so much more. What other things do you do in the running community? Um, also, um, Nicoletta from uh, um, Achilles um, Brooklyn um, chapter. She has um, a group called the Run for Fun um, the coaches. So um, I volunteer as one uh, the ultimate Run for Fun coach. Oh, that's awesome. I'm volunteering there helping the and... um, helping the little ones out. That's wonderful. It's an after school program. After school program. Right? Yes. Little, what is? You know, tell us a little bit more about Run for Fun. Um, um, we have um, different schools. Um, 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 they um, have the kids, um, they, um, um, that they run, um, we play tag with them, so, um, you know, um, we get them to do the after school activities, so, we, yeah, and, um, we get them, um, interested in racing, we share our, um, our, um, achievements, our, our medals, we come, we share them with them. Mm -hmm. That's great. The kids must love that. Yes. And they must love you, because you're a lot yes. of fun, and, you yes. know, do you wear your cape when you do that? Um, well, um. Um, they, they actually come out and see me in the marathon, so they see me the capes. Oh, that's great. They come to cheer you on? Yeah, for the team ch championships, I actually I'm one, I wore my I'm one, <coughs> one for fun shirt with my cape, so uh, I'm um, doing for the, um, for the um, one for fun. That's great. And tell me, talk a little bit about your guides, because when you run, you know, you're not the only one with a cape, are you? No, when we do a big race at the marathon, all my guys will wear capes. I mean, I tell them, pick up their character, and I will create the cape for them. Wow. And you also encourage your your teammates. You know, you you've you've brought other superheroes through the ranks lately. <laughs> yes, I told them um, um, they said they want to wear capes. I said not all. You have to earn the cape. So, um, you know, so like um, well, this... one, one particular Raymond, he won a cape. So you had to earn it. You had to show me that you earn it. So it took him three years before I made my cape when he was going to Chicago, Rock and Roll, um, half and five k. So I told him okay. So we get, did a, a cub logo. So I um I said he want to be the um. Beast mode, I think. Now, that ain't gonna give it for you. The Run and Demon, that's not more like it. Okay, that's good. Because, of course, we have Daredevil. and then But there's only one ultimate running machine. O only one ultimate only machine. Only one. One and only. Yes. And now, even the, the Road Runners now and then um, announcer, now, now they um, now have um, not only the ultimate running machine, it became our ultimate running machine. <laughs> that's true. What do you have coming up in the next few months? Actually, um, I'm in training for the New York City Marathon, and then I'm doing the. Then two weeks later, I'm doing the, the Philly. I'm um, um, half marathon on, on a Saturday, and then the uh, full marathon on the su Sunday, the 17th, 18th, I believe it is, um, in November. Um, called um, the Lip Belt Challenge, and I come back with three medals. Next Sunday, I'm wow. doing a big 15 mile. I'm in Central Park. Well, good. That's the, the training run coming up. Yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna be busy for the next couple months. How do you feel with all the training? How does your body feel? Like you know. Talk a little bit about how you train and... Sometimes the body feels wiped out after being <laughs> tired, but um, but with everybody in my support of me, I um, feels good. Absolutely. Well, you always train smart, John, and that's yes. like, you know, I mean, um, a good thing. Um, um, regardless of what any coach said, I'm always going to stick to my one walk because they can keep me, um, keep me um, not injured. Yeah, absolutely. That's good. You know, you're so kind to everybody. And you really go out of way to help your fellow athletes and encourage people to run and be a part of Achilles. And, um, you know, it's so clear how important it is to you. Yes. What do you think would happen if you never found Achilles? Then I won't find my, um, my other family, like I would say, my other family, you know, and then um, I then feel like I'll have nobody. 
<laughs> yes. Especially without my mom here, um, which um, she just recently passed away. Um, and um, my dad actually passed away. I think it was two years before, two or three years before that. Wow. So you know, so that's a little hard right there too. Yeah, that is hard. So good yes. that you found Achilles. Uh, there's not too many people I know with a heart as big as yours. That's for sure. So you're like the a cheerleader. You're a marketing and promoter. You do it no, all. Man, I'll be out there in the races. Not only um I run, but I actually um cheer all the runners on and support them also. Yeah, and you also volunteer a lot. Yeah, I volunteer too. Yeah, I know New York Roadrunners must love you for all your volunteering. I mean, I always wanted um um do some kind of um thing, but I couldn't find the right um sport to be in. So I be, um, now I became um found the right. Thing and being um, become the superhero, the real life superhero. You are a superhero. There's no doubt. And um, as you mentioned before, you were recognized um, at New York Roadrunners Club Nights as the Achilles Athlete of the Year for 2017. Right? Yes. What did that feel like? It felt great. Yeah. There was a lot of people. You got yes. to, you know, you were presented with an award. Yes. It was long overdue. You were due. Long overdue. Yeah. Yeah. I I think so I, too. Everybody was saying I, they were inspired that I haven't got it yet. Well, well-deserved award, yes. that's for sure. That's for sure. And and what other things do you like to do? Well, I like to um, 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 stretch and do yoga and do. Okay. Keep myself busy. Uh-huh. Running, I'll be taking on some walks. Mm-hmm. That's good. I know sometimes when you come to Queens, if you've done a long run on a yes. Saturday, we'll just walk, I mean, walk it out. I mean, I have my Sunday, Sunday free, but I'm lately my long run for on the Sunday, especially yeah. the yeah. races, the long run races. That's good. That's good. Well, we miss you when you're not with us. Yes. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be a um, lot of these Sundays now, from now until I don't know when. Yeah, I know. We're, we're all getting into the long runs yes. for the marathon. Yes. And you have two or maybe three coming up, right? Well, I have um, um, right now. So just far, um, New York and um, Philly. Yes, um, but um, compared to Sunday, I have I think I have the 15 mile, um, then I have the France after that, and I don't know what else after, but those are coming up, those races coming up. Okay, and what are your long term plans for running? See, um, how many marathons I could do before um, I can't do them anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll always be able to do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's another thing, you know, when, when I'm long, um, after everything there too, and maybe um, also want to throw in, um, you know, when I'm not on earning them, maybe everything, my capes and all that, my medals and all that, maybe um, go to like one of the one of the museum and, and my um, and my name or something to have them. I, I, something I'm thinking. I think that's a great aspiration to have yes. your cape retired in a museum, yes. the museum of running. My, my many capes because I have so many different capes. Do you? But, Let um, me. What do you have on today? Let's see. I have the red one with the oh, um, okay. lightning bolt. I have a. Um, the old one machine in the French, which would be for the France race. Uh -huh. I have a green one for the um, same, um, for when I do the St. Patrick um, in March for the New City here, I have to do it in green. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, my original one was orange when I first started. I remember that one. Yes. Yeah. And I have like several. And I usually have a longer one, but then I made shorter ones. Uh huh. Uh, somebody... Sometimes it's pretty hot under those capes. So is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your life, about running, about how you feel? I've actually been feeling great since I've been um, running. Been great because um, they lowered my medication from ever since I became running. Wow, that's amazing. That just shows you the power of yes. what exercise can do. Yes. What type of medications were you on? Topamax for my seizures, uh -huh. um, Boost Bar, and Zoloft. Wow. Um, and right now I'm on the table because the allergy been so bad. I've been taking um, allergy pills. They give me. I forget the name. Oh, that's pretty run of the mill, though. Yes. That's nothing like the other medications to yes. control seizures and stuff yes. are pretty heavy medications. Yes. Yes. I'm always on the seizure medication. They it's lowered it. They said next month they're going to lower it again because um, cause, um, cause they just did a test and they said um, everything's clearing up. So That's terrific. That's great. And I just did the heart test and they said um, my heart is all right. And they said I had to um, go back and if my heart hurt and then they go back to the heart specialist. Okay. So that's good. But yeah, otherwise I, you're out there just. You know, you make it look easy. And my um, <laughs> my um, annual physical, they said everything's good on the annual physical. Good. It's important for us, you know, yes. for us um, runners to keep ourselves healthy and yes. to make sure everything's working properly yes. when we get out there. That's wonderful. So what do you have planned? I know, you know, we're coming up on the anniversary of mom's passing. What do you have planned for to celebrate her life and to honor her? That day that she passed, um, um, I have a race because last year I did a race after she passed away called the Greenway Brooklyn Half Marathon. This yeah. year falls on the day she passed, so 
So, so I'm, I'm, me and, I'm, I'm Mark Shortliff come do the, I'm maybe because we did the last year together, so this year we do it together again. Oh, and then that's the week, nice. um, then on, um, that's on the 14th, and on 20th, Mark Shortliff is going to be getting married. Oh, okay, good. And then the fiance said, make sure he fits in, um, and fiance and Jillian said, make sure he um, fits into the tuxedo. <laughs> 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 that's great. Yeah. Wow. That's wonderful. So you'll be running again to honor your mom. Yes. Uh, that's beautiful. Well, JP, thank you so much for coming in and being with us today. It's really been a pleasure speaking to you in a, in a different setting than we're used to talking. Um, thank you to Will Sanchez for hosting us today on Gotta Run With Will. Thank you all for watching and from me and JP. We hope to run into all of you out there soon. Happy running, everybody. Gotta run. Hope to see you all soon, and I hope to see you at the races. And um, and just remember, um, see my cape, that was my machine, and share us on, and we got to run.